Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Demos Diecast. Hope everybody out there is having a great week so far. Hope you had a great weekend. Uh, today's video is going to be a little bit different than what we've done so far. So today we have a haul video. Um, this past weekend, I was lucky enough to be in Las Vegas at the same time as the Las Vegas Super Convention presented by Jada. And while I was out there, I uh, linked up with Derek from Honest Diecast. And he was able to speak with Diecast Media Network and was able to get us some passes to get in and check out the convention. So that was super, super dope. So huge, huge shout out and thank you to Honest Diecast and Diecast Media Network. Um, I will leave a link for both of those pages so that you guys can check them out. Uh, forever grateful for the opportunity to, to step foot and, and get a pass to go in and check the convention out. So um, that's what we're going to be going over today. So without further ado, man, let's jump into it. We picked up several different pieces from the convention itself. We did some shopping on the convention floor. We also did some room shopping. Uh, so a lot of this stuff was picked up in rooms, uh, but I do have a few pieces that were picked up off of the convention floor. So we will go over all of that. We will not be opening anything today. Uh, basically, I just want to show you guys the haul, show you what we picked up. And then from there, we will do individual videos on like items and then comparisons on other items that we have in the collection to kind of take a look and help you guys maybe make some decisions or at least just uh, get a little bit more information on stuff. So first up, we stopped by Samed Wheels Table. Uh, super, super great prices. I had a few ideas in mind for some wheels that I needed for wheel swaps. So I wanted to go check him out. Uh, ended up picking up a few extras. Great, great pricing on their wheels. If you're looking for just regular real rider type style wheels, check out Samed Wheels on eBay. Great, great guys. Great pricing on their wheels as well. Next up, let's get into the Hot Wheels. First items here are going to be the Elite 64 Mustang and the Elite 64 Audi RS7. Uh, picked both of these up from rooms that we were shopping in. Uh, both of them were from separate vendors, but they were both marked at $20 each. Uh, that is the price that Mattel sells them for before shipping. So basically got them without having to pay shipping. So I'm super happy with that. I do have all of the Elite 64s opened currently that have already released. These were the only two that had escaped me so far. So these will be openers when we do that video. Uh, we will open those, review those, take a look at them a little bit closer um, and compare them with some other Elite 64s that we already have. Next up in Hot Wheels is going to be these convention and RLCs. So we have the Los Angeles Convention 72 Custom Z. Uh, this guy was specifically traded for as an opener. So we will be cracking this when we do, do that episode. And the Datsun 510, I've had my eye on for a while, been after it, looking for it. Uh, finally decided to pull the trigger. Also received this one on trade bait. We might crack this one. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling that day. Uh, so super happy to acquire both of those. Um, really excited to get through and open those up. Uh, also, while on the um, let's see, room shopping, I was able to make a trade for this guy, the Daniel Arsham 930A. So super, super happy to pick this one up. Um, again, not going to open it here on this episode. We will have a specific episode where we do open this, review it, maybe compare it to some other stuff. Um, this box is super heavy. So anyone who did not get one of these on order, uh, we will be reviewing that. Super excited to look that one over. Really, really nice piece. Next up, uh, I was introduced to a gentleman named Mike from RDDC through Derek. And uh, Mike has a shop out in, I want to say Chandler, Arizona. 
but he also has a website as well. I'll be providing a link for that as well so you can check out his site. Uh, did some trading with Mike. I had one large piece that was had a, you know a pretty good value. So I was able to trade that piece and get a few smaller pieces from him of some stuff that I wanted. So let's take a look at those. First up, we have a little diorama piece by a company called 91. This is going to be the chain and stands for like a car show. So that's super sick. Uh, I love doing dioramas, so I can't wait to bust that one open and use it. And then we also got some tire machines here. So you have your mounting machine, your balancing machine, looks like some sort of press. I don't know if the wheels and the tires are going to be in here as well. Looks like some jack stands down there as well and maybe a floor jack. So we'll have to take a look. We will be opening this. So uh, excited to get this one open and see what all is actually contained in there and the quality of them. Next up, we got a set of Hip Hop Girls uh, American Diorama figures. These are super cool. These are die cast for anyone who's never purchased any of these. Um, I do have several uh, American Diorama sets. However, most of them are all male. So I thought it would be cool to add some diversity and add some females to the mix so we can have some girlfriends or wives and stuff like that when we start setting up dioramas. So pick that one up as well. Next up, some mini GTs. This is all from Mike also at uh, RDCC. So we got the two mini GT Formula One cars. I've been after these, waiting for these guys to release for a long time. I've picked up a couple of the Tarmac ones, but these mini GTs are dope. So we were able to grab Yuki Sonoda from the AlphaTari team. And we were also able to grab Sergio Perez from the regular Red Bull Racing team. So super stoked to add these. Anyone that does not know, I'm a huge Formula One fan. That's like my, my vice when it comes to sports. Love Formula One. I watch every race. Practice one, practice two, uh, practice three, qualifying one, two, and three. You name it. I'm on it. I'm watching the race, everything. And the last piece that we grabbed from Mike at RDCC was this CM model uh, Liberty Walk ER34 Super Silhouette. So I have this already in a Hot Wheels. I do not have this in premium die cast. I've been looking for one, waiting to pull the trigger. So this ended up being the perfect time on some trade bait that I had. Uh, so really super excited to open this. Looks like we get an extra set of wheels in there too. So that's super dope. Uh, the next piece up was, uh, that was it. Everything there. Um, the mini GTs, the American diorama, the two diorama sets and the r34 was all from mike so shout out to him um, next up i got this from a room this is an aoshima this is my first aoshima i just learned about this brand about three or four months ago so this one is in particular is going to be the gray or i guess kind of champagne colored uh can marry so we will be opening this checking it out super happy to add this one to the collection i'm really excited to get that guy open um, next up, we're going to switch to a different uh, seller. So this gentleman had a room full of Tomica, Limited Vintage Neo, and you name it, Hobby Japan, uh, regular Tomica, Tomica Premiums. He had Kyoshos. Um, he had a little bit of Hot Wheels, but mostly premium die cast and just tons of these uh, TLVNs. Super, super dope. So shout out to him. Um, I'm going to put his information right up here. Uh, the underscore toy underscore pimp. Check him out on Instagram. So we were able to pick up an R32 four-door. Love the four-door castings. I think those are super dope. Uh, next up, we were able to grab the Evo. I want to say this is an Evo 4 GSR. I'm not positive. I'll have to do my research before we do the video on it. But yeah, super, super dope piece on this one. Another Tomica Limited Vintage Neo. And the last Vintage Neo that we got from him was the black EK9 Type R. Super excited to add this one to the collection. So those were super dope. Really happy about that. We also picked up while we were in his room a Hobby Japan Prelude. I believe this is going to be a BB1 body style. Flip up headlights, so super, super dope. This is the first time I've actually seen this casting. Could not pass it up. For those of you that also don't know, not only am I a Formula One guy, but I'm a huge, huge, huge Honda guy. Honda is my deal. So, uh, that being said, we picked those up from the Toy Pimp. 
This last piece that we got from the convention, we picked up from One Stop Diecast. Uh, walked in his room the first day, and he had a lot of uh, M2s and green lights and other stuff. Came back the second day, and he had a whole new room. A uh, bunch of Inno 64s. I did own a DC5 Type S. I did not have a Type R, but I did have a DC5 Type S uh, before my current car. So a little bit of nostalgia purchase with that one. And the last item that we're going to be reviewing, this was a mail call that I came home to. Super excited to add this one is the Inno 64 Mugen RR Singapore Special Edition. Super, super dope piece. Cannot wait to tear this guy open, get it off the base, get it out on display. So we will be reviewing that one as well. So all in all, as you can see, a very, very successful weekend. All, again, thanks to Diecast Media Network and Honest Diecast for holding it down, um, getting us in and, you know, hanging out, checking out these rooms, making deals, everything. So just absolutely had a blast. If you get an opportunity or if you're thinking about attending a convention in the future, I would say go for it. Pull the trigger. Uh, you definitely want to come with a lot of cash. There were quite a few people, surprisingly, that did take PayPal, Venmo, um, Cash App, Apple Pay, Square, things like that. But the best deal is just to come with tons and tons of cash. So if you can plan one for like six months out, start selling off some stuff, saving up some cash, putting it away. That's your best bet. Also want to bring lots of trade bait and good trade bait because everybody there is A, looking to trade and B, looking to sell. So all in all, had a blast. One more time, thank you again to Honest Diecast, Diecast Media Network. We appreciate the love here at Demos Diecast. And we're going to start tearing into this stuff right away, guys. I'm not going to waste any time. We're going to start making vids. Uh, what we'll do is we'll open. We'll do a video to open. And then we'll do a separate video with a comparison for some like items. It might be like like castings. It might be like manufacturers, etc. So um, stay tuned, man. We're just going to start pumping them out and keep pumping them out. So thanks again, everybody, for tuning in. We appreciate you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and definitely go check out Honest Diecast and Diecast Media Network's page. Give them a follow as well. Um, thanks again to them, and none of this would have been possible without their help. So thanks again, guys. We appreciate you, and we will see you shortly on the next one. One love.